Welcome to the sixth video, Getting Started with Google Collab within the Python Programming for Linguists workshop. And even though this is the sixth video, this can be watched independently. And for some, this might be the first video you're going to watch because here I'm going to briefly demonstrate how to use Google Collab, an online web-based interface to write and edit and run and collaborate on code. So Google Collab or Google Collaboratory, as it is actually called, is an executable document environment. So you can run executable documents here. And these can contain both code and documentation, the same document. So you can think of these as notebooks, but they are interactive and they provide you with an environment in which you can write and run and share code in your browser. So you don't have to install anything. And Google provides you basically with an installation of Python and also many pre-installed libraries that are very useful to us. And you can get started with this really, really quickly. Now to the right here, you can see a document, a notebook, a Google Collab notebook. And here are three cells. The first cell contains a little bit of text. The second cell contains a command that is being executed on the machine on which this document runs on. And then the third line is just some base, basic Python code. That's a cool bit. You can just combine these things in one document. And so you can, for example, write your documentation or look at visualizations all within this document. Under the hood, if you're interested, these are basically Jupyter notebooks that are stored in Google Drive. And now we are going to look at these in the real world and play around with them. And I'm also going to show you how you can run the notebooks from the repository and your own notebooks on Google Collab. All right, so I created a fresh Google account. And of course you can use your own Google account if you have one. If you don't have one and you want to use Collab, you'll have to create one. But that's a fairly simple process. So this is a new account and then I just went to collab.research.google.com. And this is the first thing you see. Now for me, this is in German because I'm uh, accessing this page from a German internet connection. Uh, it will be English for you or whatever language you prefer. You have set as a standard in your browser. I'm not going to create a new notebook yet. I'm just going to click on cancel here. And then you get a introductory notebook in your language. And this basically runs you through everything you can follow this. Uh, basically, this is a better tutorial than what I'm doing right now. Let's create briefly our own notebook here. So you can click on file and then new notebook. So this will be the top thing up here. For me, it's Neues Notebook in German, but it doesn't really matter. And now you are in a notebook. Now on the top here, you can give this a name. So I'm just going to call this demo. And then IPYMB, that's just the extension for IPython notebook. And now we can use this. So this is empty now. And if you hover with your mouse over or under one of these cells, you can add a new cell, so either code or text. So I'm going to add a new text cell above here. And then if you double click, you can type text here. For example, hi. And these cells are markdown enabled. So if you have ever worked with markdown, you can also do things like, um, let's say a headline, um, welcome to collab. And let's move this high down here. And to the right, you can see that it automatically updates. And then if you press shift and enter, it basically saves that. So if I can put this here. Now I press shift and enter, and then it, this is being saved. Or run if it's a code cell. Now this is a code cell, so I can write Python in here. So let's say message equals hello world. And then I'm doing a print message. And now if I run this again by pressing shift and enter, this is being run on this uh, Google Collab server. And then we get this message here. And then of course, you can add more code cells here and more text cells, and you can document this. An important feature is that you can use an exclamation mark to run system commands. So if you want to run commands against the underlying system, you can type, for example, ls, and then you'll get all the files in this folder. And if this is completely new to you and you're interested, you can also have a look at the Linux command line primer, which is in the repository. And there I'm going to explain some basic commands. And there's also a video tutorial on that. And this is basically how you work with your own notebooks. And then you can run code here, write code here. You can also share your notebook and invite other people to work with you, for example, if you want to do that. And this is basically a document within your Google Drive. So I'm now in Google Drive. 
then this notebook is just a file in my Google Drive. Colab creates its own folder, and then there are all the notebooks are in there. All right, two more things. The first thing I want to show you is how to run notebooks straight from the repository. Okay, so now we are in the repository for the workshop. And on top here, you can see this open and collab button. And if I click this, I'm basically taken to Google Collab. And now Google Collab already switched to GitHub here. And it now allows me to basically import all the notebooks from this workshop. So let's say I want to work on, let's say, the exercises uh, one, two, three. I can just click this. And then this notebook is being opened up here and I can now work with this and also, of course, save this to my Google Drive if I want to do this. And that's just really, really neat and makes life very easy. Another thing you might want to do is you might want to work with the notebooks you downloaded elsewhere. For example, if you're a student in one of my classes, you might be getting notebooks using the learning management system. And of course, you can also import and use them here. And I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so I'm back in Google Collab on the, this first page. You could also do this from Google Drive, but let's do it from within a collaboratory. So you click on File, and then you click on Upload Notebook. And basically now you can just drag and drop a file from your computer into this. So I'm going to do that. And I now basically dropped in a file from my Downloads folder that I just downloaded, and I opened that up. And now we can see whether this works. So let's run the cell here using either control enter control enter will not create a new cell shift enter will create a new cell right after the fact so if i just go here and press control enter it will just run the cell and if i press shift enter it will create it will bring me to the next cell automatically and this is how you can import your own notebooks or other notebooks into your own google drive and now if i'm going to drive again these will be added here as well. Of course, you can also download these again. So if you click on file, you can save them within your Google Drive, but you can also download them as IPython notebook files or s.py files if you want to work with them on your own computer. And that's basically how you work with Collab and how you can experiment with it. An important note, if you don't want to work using Google or if you don't want to work in the browser, have a look at video number five in which I'm going over setting up a development environment on your own computer.